an assembly of sinners saved by the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's who we are. I personally am um, blessed by this church and that blessing fuels me to bless others. I remember one thing that Pastor Derek said in one of his sermons is when you're walking with God, you do things that you never thought you were yeah, going to do. And we don't, when you don't walk with God, you do things that you never thought you were going to do. That resonated into my life, and, and I am so thankful that uh, God has allowed me to, to do a little bit for His kingdom. So we had this vision of this event uh, in, in Mazatlan, and, and the result was 2,000 people give their hearts to the Lord. Jesus. When we do these events, we team up and come along local churches yes. and reach out as far as we can. We walk out there on the baseball field, and Siggy's walking towards home plate. Pastor Derek's on pitcher's mound with Pastor Carlos, and he says, uh, we're thinking about doing an awakening event here, and I fell to my knees. It overwhelmed me with emotions. I remember them clearly. Kenny's on his knees, and Pastor Carlos is telling me, I was standing right here in this, exactly in this place, 35 years ago, receiving Christ. I remember parking my car, I got out, and I'm like, wow, so many people need medicine. And they said, no, that's the prayer line. That's the prayer line. That was the prayer line, it was long. And it was yes. like, wow, the medicine part of it, was okay, but the prayer line was long. Those two events like really touched, touched my heart. It, it's incredible what what God does. We were sitting there, and he, I'm like, and I, I just stopped. I was quiet, and Pastor Derek, and they look at me like, what, what's going on? What's going on? I said, look at me. I'm this West African man that was so confused, lost, so deeply lost in the world. And God's using me, and Siggy jumps up and says, I'm Mexican, I'm from... <laughs> and Pastor Darius like, I was in jail. <laughs> I'm a white guy, I was in jail. And uh, it, it's just, it's just, this is what the things God uses, this is what he does. And he's so powerfully glorified, because who would think, who would have thunk it? <laughs> it's the word, who would have thunk it? You know what I mean? And God did, God did. It, it, it just, you can't put it to words. So if you sit in, in your, sitting in a, church today, if you're sitting at home hearing this, God can use any of us, no matter, you know, how, however he chooses, as long as, as long as we surrender ourselves to him, to his will to be done, I mean, stop sitting there thinking that you can't use me. I really make an emphasis, you know, don't miss it. Mm. Don't miss those opportunities to go, because you think you're changing a life, but it's changing your life.